Did you know that November is National Hospice and Palliative Care Month? Well, we're here with Heather from Compass Regional Hospice to talk about all the things that you might need to know. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you so much for having us on today. Of course. Yeah, so it's National Hospice and Palliative Care Month, like you said. So we are all month celebrating and trying to get the word out about our services and programs in our communities and make sure that people understand um, that we are here to support them. So what are some services that people really need to know about? Well, we have our hospice program. Um, we have uh, hospice in patients' homes and in our hospice facilities in Centerville, as well as in Kent County currently. And we, But we see most patients in their own home environment or assisted livings and nursing homes. And then we have our palliative care program, which is a newer program of ours. And that is also done in patients' homes, so people are able to stay where they feel most comfortable. Um, and that is really a level of care that is prior to people accepting hospice care. Um, it's about a year out from, you know, a li with a life-limiting illness. And um, we come alongside of the family and patient to help support them at home so they don't have to keep going back and forth to the hospital. Right. Be comfortable at home. And that, I know you said it's new because we actually just started talking about this the last time you visited That's us, right. right? That's right. We actually, it has been about one year. Um, it really it had just kicked off last time we were mm -hmm. here. Um, so it's been an exciting year and we're serving about 20, 25 patients a day in that, in that program now. That's and wonderful. people are also um, accessing hospice earlier rather than later in their disease process with that program as well. Right. And since you said that, I think it is important for people to know, when should you start thinking about hospice or, or the actual care? Yeah, so interesting you say that because uh, we as hospice and palliative care providers were, would love for people to start thinking about their end of life wishes when they're like our age, mm -hmm. um, younger. L make those decisions for yourself. Uh, one of our, our tagline is care on your terms. And that's because we want people to own their health and their life and how it's going to end up when, when their health declines and not have that in just physicians hands or their families sure. so you should really start thinking about it early plan through your advanced directives have your wishes known because none of us know when we might end up with an illness right and take control when you can right so if we want to take control is there a place where we can get more information Sure, you can uh, look on our website at www.compassregionalhospice.org or you can call us at 443-262-4100. And lastly, we have our grief services, and a lot of people don't realize that we provide grief services to anybody who has experienced a loss in our communities. Um, so it's not just hospice patients' families that we provide that service to, but anyone who's had a loss, such as an opioid overdose, suicide, car accidents. We're also in all of the local school systems counseling children who have had a loss, and that is free of charge. So 100% of that has to be donated monies from our community. Okay. So speaking of community, I know you guys have lots of events that are going on yes. in the community. What do you have going on? Yes, thank you. So um, on November 24th at four o'clock at Centerville United Methodist Church, we have our annual service of remembrance. Um, that is for patients, for Queen Anne's County residents who have passed away for their loved ones to come out and remember them, see some of the staff that worked with them. It's, a, it's like a candlelight vigil with some singing and and reflection. And you also have your big event once a year, right? Yes, our annual gala. Um, it is being moved this year. It has been in Annie's for years past, and we are moving it to the Beach Club this year, and it will be January 31st, at starting at 6 p.m., and you should get your tickets quickly if you want them because they are going fast. And if there's any businesses out there that would like to sponsor the event, um, please give us a call again at 443-262-4100. And we can't let people off the hook without knowing there's also volunteer opportunities, right? That's correct. Yes, we have plenty of volunteer opportunities, though we have a lot of staff. We depend on our volunteers. They are what we call the heart of hospice. Um, we couldn't do it without them. So we have volunteer needs at our estate treasurer's resale shop, which is in the Kent Town Market in Chester, Maryland. And we have volunteer needs such as sitting with patients, 
um, working at the front desk answering the phones. We have needs for fundraising and uh, at our working at our events for our fundraising events um, and much, much more. We use them for everything. We have some youth that come and do community service hours with us as well, um, helping our volunteer coordinator and in the office. That's great. And let me not forget our Camp New Dawn, um, which we have every August. Uh, we probably have about 100 volunteers who take their weekend um, to spend it with children who have lost loved ones. All right. So whether it's volunteering or whether it's taking control of your care in the future or your care of loved ones or just hanging out with some of your events, there's lots of reasons why you should be going online or calling them and getting more information about Compass Regional Hospice and all the wonderful things you guys are doing. So thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me.